Hello YouTube and welcome to Gromforks. This is another episode of uh, KSP Mod Spotlight. And in today's episode, we will be previewing the mod Dr. Jet's Chop Shop by a forum user, Dr. Jet. Uh, what this wonderful piece of work actually is adding is uh, some Mark II space plane parts, some uh, sky cranes, some fantastic rover parts, especially rover bodies which one of them even has an IVA view, um, and uh, some uh, aerodynamic blisters and some additional things which I believe are sorely needed in the stock ASP. Now that being said, let's check out the parts. Okay, so let's take a look at all of the wonderful parts that this mod provides. And the first is actually the probe core, starting with the probes, obviously. You have the Mark II drone nose cone, which is a fantastic uh, piece, which is because it uh, acts like an AI. So it's uh, for all your um, drone SSTO needs and drone planes and space planes. Then moving over, we have two wonderful sky cranes that are deployable. I just love the animations on them. They're fantastic and they can be very useful to deploy your rovers. And speaking of which, it is like foldable, as you can see. Then speaking of uh, rovers, they also act as, I believe, uh, probe cores. Then uh, we have a total of three rover bodies. Uh, the first one is the small RTG rover because here you can fit four uh, RTGs and use them to power your rover and all of them have or most of them have nicely um, holes for putting the wheels. Now th the second one is called a ruggedized, um, ruggedized rover body and here you can put in the wheels. My advice would you would be if you put them in 1.1, I have noticed that they have become blocked, the wheels become blocked. So my advice would be put a small cubic octagonal strut here and then put the wheels on them if you're putting the ruggedized wheels. Also one cool addition is it has some storage where you can actually put some stuff in and it would be driven, which I think it's very cool. Then uh, we have this wonderful rover which is actually a crew drover, so you can have a crew and if we switch just briefly you can see here the internal IVA view which is even provided which I think is especially cool. Uh, so that would be becoming the rover body. Then we have a bunch of adapters which were sorely missing from the stock game. Uh, especially given how, my, how many potential engines we have. So from left to right, first you have a uh, Mark II, Mark II tricoupler, which has like one, uh, 125 meter and two 0 0.625 meter. Then you have the Mark II quad coupler, which is uh, actually having two 1.25 meters and 2.065. And you have the Mark II quint coupler. So, well, which what this one spells out for me is if you want an SSTO that basically has like uh, one, let's say, um, if you want to have an SSTO which has one uh, rapier engine and like four, maybe either you want the, the ion engines or maybe four small like rocket engines. I think those would be just fantastic addition to the stock game. Then, on the other side, you have this weird little thingy, which is the Mark II wide tricoupler, which gives you a three 1.25 meters. And if you can see, the middle one is um, a bit shorter than the other two. And this is actually fitting perfectly with the uh, with the Nuke engine, uh, the the Nerva. Uh, so you can put Nerva in here and here you can to put either jet engines or preferably maybe rapiers or sabers depending on your mod usage I guess. Then you have this little fella which is the Mark II beak bicoupler uh, uh, which is actually sort of like a small beak and here you can put either two engines or you can put two intakes if you put it on the front of the plane. I mean it's completely up to you. Then 
you have the Mark II 2.5 meter adapter, which is actually um, you, in stock we have something like this, but it's much longer. So I think this one was actually sorely missing. It's shorter. So I think it's actually very cool. Now, uh, in addition, you have also the nose cone, uh, which does provide two intakes with a flow of 8.90, which I think is very, very good for if you want to build some SSTOs. Then, if you put some lighting, you will see that we have here like the small LED headlights, which work perfectly well with the rovers, as well as one small loop uh, buzzer, which is basically the engine. Uh, little buzzer which is basically the small 0.625 engine if you can activate it you can see it has a beautiful small animation and it does provide some thrust and it goes like so it's, I think it's kind of actually kind of cool then we have um, let's see then if we look on the other side we have a couple of some tanks and it's radially attached tanks with decouplers 0.5 meter side tank and 1 point meter tank as well as their inline counterparts uh, so and then we have a perfect one LTS Mark II bun lower stage where you can attach some landing legs over here for example this is for all your lander needs and the funny part about it is that it can decouple as a mushroom so this can actually go one step up so if you're actually using it I think it's actually very cool so see this is how decouples explosion included then moving on you have here the big 2.5 meter tricoupler oh, I, I cannot control it, but they have tricoupler quad coupler and I think this is like one two three one two three so like hex coupler or something for your space station needs uh, so which I think it's very very cool now the next part that it is being provided is let me just see here hold on mm-hmm Okay, so you have the decoupling aerodynamic blister. So you have like basically the regular blister and you have the decoupling blister. So these ones are just basically two regular blisters which allow you to attach 2.5 and 1.25 meter engine to the side of your tank, which I think it's really cool. And then you have the one version which is the decoupling flavor and even these decoupling flavor have also the small decoupling engines which you can see if we trigger they detach like this. So very very cool. Uh, then moving onwards and upwards this part also provides a couple of inline shoots so small inline shoot and some attachable shoots like I don't know how to call them segment shoots I guess together with their segment shoot base and also a small antenna so if we extend it you can see it's that's one deployable antenna system which I think it's kind of very cool very small for your probe needs I think it's pretty decent and then last but not least not in any way we have the solar panels and these are actually pretty intelligent solar panels because if we extend them they have two axis tracking of the sun so they will always be positioned to the sun because they can also rotate around the axis and they can also so for example let's say we press retract that's retracting if we press extend it can also rotate and extend so as you can see it has like dual controls in terms of or this could be just simply a bug I would know but anyway you have them in one point I think it's actually zero point uh, hold on I think it's is this no the one point zero point six to five meter 1.25 meter and 2.5 meter flavors so okay 
With that being said, this is the parts of the list as they are provided, so let me show you a couple of cool like things or rovers and SSTOs that you can build with this. Okay, so let's see a little bit what we can do with these wonderful parts. So here is the small RTG rover where I have crammed actually a couple of uh, liquid fuel and oxidizer tanks, four of them, and detachable ones. Then some small, well, not very small, but sky crane and a parachute and a bunch of LEDs. And here you can see us like going towards the space plane hangar and then we will be turning to see what's on top of the uh, vehicle assembly building. And in order to get there, we will be using Dr. Jet's awesome sky crane. A little bit extra thrust and our rover gets off the ground. Now, please, this is not a demonstration of my superior piloting skills because they're god awful. And I'm just hoping to be able to land this sky crane in at least one piece. So let's see a little bit over there and oh, oh, oh okay, arrest our horizontal velocity. Gently, gently, and oh, very gently, like landing a potato. Okay, let's stow that away for a moment, and as you can see, this will actually take you very nicely on top of the VAB. It is actually very maneuverable, it has good reaction wheels, and yeah, overall I think it's working pretty well. Okay, that being said, let us take a look. Uh, these were some a little bit of the rover parts, so let's take a little bit more look into the actual space plane parts. Or what you can do with space planes. And as you can see, oh, and um, sometimes if you group them wrongly you can misfire. But nevertheless, bombs away! And I swear this was completely unintended. I never intended to shoot at the, my planes because I was actually hoping to actually use at least one of them. For this one, for example, this is like a drone SSTO basically using, I think, two, two of the parts. And this is the nose, uh, nose probe core and as well as the wide tricoupler. So just to give you an idea how well this fits, I'm just going to roughly show you a little bit of the a little bit of the driving, well, rear of the plane anyway. So, yeah, here you can see the middle connector is just short enough so that you can put in one nuke engine together with two of the rapiers and the other two longer plumes actually have or the longer tanks have actually the intakes at the front which makes it very convenient it's awesome work dr jet these parts were actually quite needed okay so with that thing in mind uh, we will actually be closing this uh, mod spotlight. So, until the next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks signing off.